So Nicola, what, what can we see here? We're actually walking along the edge of a very nice Wealdon Gill um, and we're looking at the edge of the woodland and the farmland on the other side and this is a particularly ancient um, piece of hedging that's been left on top of the uh, old wood bank. What's special about this place? Um, the fact that you've actually got the difference between ancient woodland on one side and um, former cultivated field on the other side. Um, but what's also particularly interesting is this really old hornbeam um, stump or stub. And you can actually see that there's horizontal branches mm. within it, um, which are the remains of where it's been cut and laid to form a hedge to actually protect the coppice on the, actually in the gill. So this was a form of fence, is what you're saying, to protect yeah. the field from, from, or protect the woodland from the livestock. That's right. It's a form of stockproof boundary um, to prevent anything that was in this side of the field getting in grazing the shoots on that side. And you've also got a bit of a bank running along here. What, what, what's that signify? Um, the bank is actually defining the boundary of the wood and the difference between the wood and the field. And then you've got the remains of a silted up ditch. You can see just mm. um, running on this side. Um, and you'd always get the ditch on the non-woodland side. Um, it's uh, it's a, uh, one of the defining features of particularly wood banks, um, is you get this, this uh, ditch on the non-woodland side. Um, and the bank is made from the digging out the ditch and throwing the spoil up onto, onto the, uh, the wood side and then planting with trees, which were then managed as a hedge on top of it. So is there anything else that, that is special about the bank? Wood banks in particular have, uh, um, can often have a particular profile um, shape to them um, and that's very much, they're very much asymmetrical where instead of being a nice rounded curve the, um, they've got a very sort of what's called a dip slope tailing off into the wood and what's sharp, a sharp um, slope at the front where the ditch has been cut. Um, so that's again another kind of characteristic feature that you'd, uh, you'd look for. And I mean again how, how old would something like this be a feature like this? Wood banks are one of the oldest features that you're likely to find within woods um, and a lot of them go back to the medieval period or even earlier when the woods were actually starting to be separated from the farmed land. So a bank like this could be anything up to a thousand years old. Well, as you can see, the trees have actually bent over into um, the, what was a former field um, to catch the light. Um, and eventually this will be completely taken over as woodland and you can see the new fence line um, has been moved a bit further out.